I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And I want to give double honors to the apostles, the great millstone of Yasserala. And I want to give all salutations to the brothers of GMS. This is uh, Revelations 13 and uh, 16. And he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and by to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his hand. So it's talking about a microchip. It's planted in the hand, you know. Check out the clip. With confident offering to implant implant tiny microchips into its employees. Not just no, but no. The chip <laughs> the chips could allow people to unlock office doors, uh, make purchases. Rebecca, come on. Oh, so many questions about this, Robin and Michael. Good morning. We asked a lot of them. This is the first American company to ever try this. One week from today, many of the employees, including the CEO, will voluntarily have the microchips implanted into their bodies, and they're calling it I'm not kidding here, a chips and salsa party. Oh. <laughs> this morning, like a scene straight out of 007. So you can keep an eye on me? Employees at one Wisconsin tech company, Three Square Market, willingly making that fantasy a reality, implanting their own bodies with microchips. What did the employees say when you brought this idea to them? Half of them actually within five seconds says yes. CEO Todd Westby, along with 50 of his 80 colleagues, even his wife and kids, preparing to implant these chips, the size of a grain of rice, between their forefingers and thumbs, so they can do everything from buy snacks in the break room to log in in the morning to unlocking doors with just the swipe of a hand. What did it take to persuade the holdouts? Basically, we had to explain to them there's no uh, tracking of the information it's not gps or anything like that the radio frequency technology in the devices approved by the fda will be inserted with a small needle by a licensed technician some internet experts warn that the convenience could come at a cost many things start off with the best of intentions but sometimes intentions turn we've survived thousands of years as a species without being microchipped is there any particular need to do it now? Participation is optional, and some are holding out. There's always the fear of infection, so it's the unknown right now. But many are excited to give the new technology a try. I think it's kind of cool. Just pop it up there and it'll work. Just pop it up there. It's that simple. So to give you a sense, here's a grain of rice. The chips will be inserted like this grain of rice right here between your thumb and your forefinger. And most of the employees have opted in. It is voluntary. One size fits all, I guess. Now, <laughs> what, what happens if you get the implant and then you're like, I don't want this anymore? So they told me... In case this happens, you pop it out. You literally push it out the way you would push a splinter out of your hand. <laughs> yes. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I covered this story last year about this company in Wisconsin, which is planning on having its employees voluntarily microchip themselves. You just saw the video. That video is actually from this week because they're going forward with it as of next week. And I wanted to make it very well known to people who listen to this channel that this is starting to become mainstream. Good morning, America, talking about it. Okay, and of course, they're sounding a little bit hesitant. Ooh, is it okay? This is how mind control works, right? They're not going to roll out. They're not going to go, get it. Oh, get it, get it, because people are going to be suspicious. They're going to go, I don't know. Then they're going to release reports on how no one's gotten sick. Everything's good. Uh, you know, fake stories about people who are getting hacked and losing, you know, their identity online. And how they'll need a microchip so people can't steal their identity or steal their money or any of this stuff. Right, with these cyber hacks, that's how all of this is going to come together. But what you're seeing is more and more businesses, right? So they started with animals, 
As you know, many countries force you to microchip your animals and your pets, and they say, well, so the pets don't get lost. Right? This is just a slow seed planting indoctrination. And now in America, we're seeing more and more employees, right, volunteering, or excuse me, volunteering to get this chip, including the CEO of this company who, this guy, you want to talk about some, some sick problems. First of all, in that clip, he talks about how he's microchipping his whole family. But the chip is supposed to be for his work so that people can get snacks faster or get into the door quicker. Instead of using a key, because we all know that takes way too long, especially with these key cards that they have where you just hold it up like a hotel room door. Boy, that might take a whole two seconds. Might as well get it in your wrist so it could take one second. Not sure why he'd be microchipping his own family, being that they don't work there. Being that his children are young, I mean, what are they going to do with the microchip? Eat it? Pop it out of their hand? I mean, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable how sick some of these people really are. Because look at the benefits of getting this, right? The benefits are the quicker you can scan and get snacks, you can open the door, you can log in. Because, again, it takes way too long to type. Right? You don't want to have to type in your email and password. Oh, boy. A whole five seconds might go by. Don't want to miss out. We're in a rush, remember? All right, so let's take a look at this, this article. And remember, I talked about how this is becoming mainstream. Dr. Oz was talking about it, pushing it on the Dr. Oz show. Brooke Shields, the actress, was talking about how she wants to microchip her kids. And sooner or later, you're going to see Kim Kardashian and all these people casually doing this at the store. And the seed planting for all of that is stuff like the Amazon Go store, where people are just holding up their phone. Oh, go in, take whatever you want and walk out. No credit card, no line, nothing. Whoa. Right? That's the seed plant. So instead of the phone, the phone now becomes inside your body because that's what's coming next with transhumanism. All this stuff goes inside of you. You don't have to carry a phone. You have to carry a wallet. All this stuff is in you. You're superhuman-like. It says sensors and microchips may signal a new era of a connected workforce, but some experts say these technologies also put employees' privacy at risk. For example, a recent patent submitted by tech giant Amazon described an electronic wristband that could monitor employees' tasks. Okay, so Amazon working on putting in a, a wristband, which eventually will be a microchip, which will monitor employees' tasks. You want to talk about being supervised. They'll be monitoring you if you take a, take a leak. Okay, oh, you were taking a leak for five minutes. You're fired. I mean, how, much, how many more rights do people really want to give away? I mean, you're already slaves. Everyone, we're slaves to these people in this system. Let's give them more. Yes, please, give me this wristband and microchip so you can monitor my minute-by-minute -minute activity. If I pick my nose or if I go, uh, you know, and uh, if you wipe your rear end and you're on the clock, oh, man, they're going to dox your pay probably. Okay, it says UPS has sensors on its delivery trucks to track the opening and closing of doors the engine of the vehicle, and whether a seatbelt is buckled. So UPS is monitoring the every move of its employees. A software engineer at Three, uh, Three Square Market said he readily agreed to, the to be embedded with the chip. He said, I didn't even consider not doing it. He said, adding that he uses the chip to swipe into secure rooms and log into his computer. He said it's been really convenient and a really positive experience. I mean, is this guy the laziest person on earth? He didn't consider not doing it because every day when he gets to work, he's so stressed out about 